Tuesday forecast. You can see some snow on the ground uh, from that video yesterday on Springfield, Massachusetts, Pete. It's still snowing out in Western Mass, northern New England. What the heck's going on around here? What the heck, Pete? I know I'm hearing that question a lot lately, and we just cannot seem to get out of this colder weather pattern. Jet stream dipping right over the northeast, bringing in cold air after cold air shot, and that continues over the next couple days. Now, we're not going to get snow today, but there is snow out to the west, as Patrick just mentioned. You can see here in uh, western Connecticut, upstate New York, not all of this actually hitting the ground, but some of this energy does drift into our area today and deliver the chance of a few rain showers, but today will not be a rainy day by any means. In fact, we'll start things off with some sunshine. This is 8 o'clock this morning. Notice the white increasing by around 11 o'clock in the morning. Don't worry, this is not snow. These are clouds. And then by, say, 1, 2 o'clock, maybe 3 or 4 p.m., the chance of a few scattered showers. You can see it's not that extensive, nothing like we saw yesterday. And the chance of showers continues actually throughout the evening before around 9 or 10 p.m. Then we clear things out to partly cloudy skies. But it will be a cool night. We'll talk about some of those cool temperatures coming up in just a few minutes. We are sitting at 40 right now in Smithfield. Speaking of cool, 45 in Taunton, 43 New Bedford, mid-40s from Westerly into Newport, 43 on Block Island. With winds out of the west already at around 5 to 50. 15 miles an hour, 9 miles an hour, and Westerly 6 in Newport, 14 in Providence. So although it's not nearly as windy as what we had yesterday, wind will be a little bit of a factor in the forecast today. Not that it's going to cause major issues, but you'll just notice a little bit of a bite in the air as the sun comes out later on this morning and into the afternoon as some of those gusts from the west kick up just a little bit. Newport showing good visibility right now, and we're sort of in a gap in between the rain and snow showers here in the satellite picture, and we stay in that gap for a good part of the day. The problem is the center of low pressure which almost looks like a big bicycle wheel. This continues to kind of wheel through the area today, bringing in the clouds and the chance of showers before finally departing. On Wednesday, we get a little bit of a break in the activity, and then, yes, another center of low pressure moves in on Thursday. We'll talk about that one in just a second. This afternoon's high temperatures, generally upper 40s to around 50 degrees, with a few gusts of around 25 miles an hour, especially from the late morning into the early afternoon. The good news is this tends to be a drier wind direction for us as these gusts move in from the west. You could see Westerly, Newport, Jamestown. You could get a little bit gustier today with gusts of around 25 or even 30 miles an hour. We now fast forward to Thursday morning. This is around 2 o'clock in the morning as the showers start to approach. I do think we see extensive showers on Thursday, so not the greatest day to be outdoors. And I almost don't want to mention this, but I do have to. By Thursday night, notice what happens. Some of the pink and white does get close to the Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Massachusetts border. So while we're not going to see accumulating snow or anything like that, it is possible possible to the north and west of 295. You may notice a little bit of sleet or wet snow trying to mix in, but I do think most of that activity stays just off to our north when we're talking about the winter-like precipitation. Now on Friday morning, a few early showers are possible, and then by the time we get to Friday afternoon, we push that out of the way and bring in partly sunny skies. Seven-day future cast shows some sunshine for Wednesday, getting up to around 53 degrees. There is our not-so-nice day on Thursday. Highs only in the upper 40s, unfortunately. Friday 50. Now, Saturday and Sunday, yes, we are below normal, but I don't have any precipitation in the forecast for the weekend, so at least we get a dry weekend, albeit a dry weekend with temperatures a little on the cool side in the low to mid 50s. You can always get an updated future cast over on our website and also download the Pinpoint Weather app. You can search WPRI on the App Store. Now let's get you over to Melissa, who has a look at 